Here's some quick advice on how to get the shifted layer on your HOTAS for Falcon 4 BMS 4.37. In the launcher here, you go over to key mapping. In the filter field, you can type in shift. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear out what I've got here. Clear DX will clear the buttons that I've already assigned. I'll hit save. You'll see nothing's there. So this is what it looks like when you come to it with nothing assigned. Stick, pinky switch, DX shift. You can double click anywhere here across, doesn't matter which column you're in. You'll see it brings up this assign tab here. And what we're gonna do is assign a modifier, a shift layer. And that's gonna be my paddle switch on my Warthog. It's this guy here, it looks just the same as the F-16 switch, although the throttle looks very different. But uh, nonetheless, I'm gonna use the paddle switch for my shifted layer. And with it awaiting inputs here, I will press my paddle there, which is uh, DX4 button four on joystick number one, my flight stick. I will hit save. And you can see now for the stick pinky switch DX shift, we have assigned this set of commands right here. Now, if we clear the filtered field out, go back to the main command menu. Let's take target management switch, or for instance, uh, if I click in here somewhere, we're gonna watch right down here in the blue area. I'm gonna press TMS forward or up. There it is. You can see it's jumped me down to the flight stick category and the first control there, stick TMS up, which is button seven. And you can see I have my TMS up on my HOTAS mapped to TMS up in the F-16, just like down, left, right, and just like DMS as well for the display management. So TMS up, it's button seven. How do I get button seven to do something else when I press the shifted layer? Well, I'll pick what I want it to do and what I have it doing currently, and what I want it to do is uh, the, what is it, the option select button four. I want the left MFD OSB four, which I usually have my fire control radar up on. I'm gonna clear this so you can see from the start here. I want this button, which is your fire control radar override to put your radar into standby while you're approaching a tanker, or if you don't want it emitting for some reason. I want OSB4 to be mapped to paddle switch shift TMS up. So all you have to do is with it, uh, you can see it's not totally blank here because there is a keyboard mapping already. That's okay. I'm not going to clear that. I'm just going to make sure I press shift. You can see shift sort of highlights here and TMS up at the same time. And now we have DX7 button seven, which is TMS up on joystick one plus shift gets me save. OSB4 on the left MFD. So in VR, I don't have to grope for the button on the Cougar MFD or use the mouse to press uh, OSB4 there. Okay, so you can see I've used this for, for quite a few things. Actually, if we go back to like autopilot here, it's a three position switch on the bottom right hand side of the HOTAS that I have. DX27 is altitude hold. DX27 release. When you toggle press to release, you can choose uh, you can choose instead of the press you can obviously get the release which is the down position of the switch so i've got autopilot altitude hold autopilot off in the center attitude hold at the bottom back up to center now this is doubled for some of my my taxi and landing lights so you'll see here if i press shift and it's dx27 up it jumps me up to the gear section where i have my landing lights you can see those same three controls that are used for the autopilot, the DX27 press and release, DX28 press and release are mapped to my taxi landing light off or and, and landing lights there. So pretty much uh, basically doubles the functionality. Most of my buttons have a shifted layer to them, uh, many of them anyways. All right, uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. One other thing, if you do use VR, do not map field of view to an axis on your HOTAS, it must be unmapped. This only works without VR anyways, and having this mapped to an axis will conflict with VR zoom. This guy here won't function if you do have that axis mapped. All right, hopefully this is helpful and enjoy 4.37.